Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is Helton's Computer Repair here with a video for you. On this video, we're pretty much going to be showing you how to uninstall Skype. Now, technically, Skype is usually possibly already installed when you have Windows 10 Home, but if you pretty much have an enterprise or you have pretty much like a professional, you may not have Skype installed by default. You might have manually been installed. So if it does come to a point, we're pretty much going to be showing you how to uninstall it, pretty much going to Control Panel or going to Programs and Features to get rid of it. Regardless, let's go ahead and get started. So first thing you do, you pretty much go to start and you can go to settings and it'll take us to this layout. You can go ahead and select apps and let the applications to load up. I'll scroll through there and I'll scroll all the way down until you see Skype and you'll see Skype version. You can press uninstall and you can pretty much press uninstall by default. Now if it does come to a point and you don't see Skype here, then the second option is pretty much going to control panel. I'm going to go ahead and just minimize this real quick. And I'm pretty much going to start, or the search bar, pretty much you're going to type in control panel. Actually, I was not typing it. There it is. I'm clicking it now. Control. I just typed in control and it came up. Go ahead and see control panel. Go ahead and select it. And most likely you probably have this layout. If it does look slightly different, you can change it to large icons. It's honestly, they're pretty much the same location. You see programs and features. You're going to get to that same location. By default, I'm going to go ahead and just leave the category. And you can select programs. It takes you to all this step. But honestly, just select where it says uninstall program and it pretty much takes us right here. Here we are from this list, you'll see all different programs are there, there's Skype. You can pretty much click it and press uninstall. And I'll ask if you are prompted and I'll pretty much say yes. And I'll ask you, are you sure you want to remove Skype and all of its components? I'm gonna go ahead and press no, because this is only just in case if it doesn't want to show up. It does, hap it does happen sometimes by going to settings for this, for it. If you do have actions to see it, then pretty much just use the regular standard way and select uninstall and press uninstall. And again, you'll pretty much be prompted again, telling you that it's going to be running this up to uninstall. Go ahead and press yes. And it tells us, are you sure you want to completely remove Skype and all of its components? Go ahead and press yes. It pretty much just extracts the files that aren't needed, deletes them, and it says that Skype was successfully removed from your computer, and press OK. And that should be pretty much it. Thank you for watching from Helton's Computer Repair, and I will see you on the next video. Thanks for watching guys. If you just like this video, then hit that button. But if you like it and you want to see more, hit that like button. Get subscribed, comment, and tell us what other tech videos you want to see. Consider checking out our merch store, link in the video description. And for the rest, I will see you on the next video.